Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. With my whole heart have I sought thee. Oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Psalms 119 verse 9 through 11. The 11th verse, thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Or if I go back to verse 10, it, he says, oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. Or even verse 9, wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way, but by taking heed to the word of the Lord. My friends, I'm Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. I am the honored to be the prelate of North Carolina Third Jurisdiction, and I am coming to you to invite you to be a part of our fifth holy convocation. This particular convocation is a very special one, and God has given me a powerful theme based on Psalms 119 and verse 11, and the theme is simply this, thinking inside the box. God's truth thinking inside the box. As you know, if you've been following this ministry, the Lord spoke to me the first of the year and had me to declare that the theme uh, for 2020 is simply God's truth. Where Jesus said in John's gospel, chapter 17 and verse 17, sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Well, my friends, as never before, you got to be able to see, I know you know, that the Lord spoke to me and gave me that theme. For God's truth is under attack today as never before. But we are determined to stand on the truth of God. When the Lord gave me that theme, I had no way of knowing that in just a few months, churches across this country would be deemed non-essential. I had no way of knowing that things would happen the way that they have happened that there would be people in positions of authority, politicians and others, who, who would actually see the necessity of an ABC store, of a vape store, of a grocery store, of a big box Walmart store, and yet see, uh, deem or designate or assign non-essential status to the house of God. My friends, the word of the Lord is under attack as never before, but I thank God that the God of the Bible is alive and well. And I want to invite you to be a part of this fifth holy convocation of, of, of North Carolina third jurisdictions, August the 5th through the 7th. We are going to have a mighty move of God. I'm blessed to have uh, state supervisor or jurisdiction supervisor, should I say, Beverly DeJanae, an awesome woman of God serving with me in North Carolina third jurisdiction. And it is going to be a tremendous, a tremendous move of God. My lovely wife, Pamela, let me tell you, I thank God for her serving in this jurisdiction. And let me give you, let me give you a little rundown of what's, what's going to take place. This year's uh, convocation will be different from any that we've had before in that it will be virtual. Even though here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ, we're in our ninth or tenth week back having service uh, live in the sanctuary. And to God be the glory. We haven't had any problems. We practice social distancing. We keep the church clean and we're doing all of the things that we know to do. You are familiar with our protocols. They have worked without failure. God has given us a hundred percent track record and I give him all of the glory for that. But I'm also a man under authority and our presiding bishop the presiding bishop of the Church of God in Christ. It is his desire that we have our convocations and things and that we do these things virtually. And so we are walking in lockstep with our national church with regards to our jurisdictional holy convocation. But just because it will be virtual 
doesn't mean that it's not going to be power packed. We have some of the most powerful preachers in the body of Christ and in North Carolina third lined up to minister the word of the Lord to you. The information is on the screen uh, talking about our convocation. I want to thank God for a Wednesday night, Pastor Patrick Leak. Now, Patrick Leak is a awesome man of God, a powerful preacher, the pastor of Tree of Life Christian Center Church of God in Christ. This man of God is going to be our featured speaker. The enemy tried to afflict him. The devil tried to take him out of here. But the God of the Bible raised him up. He and his lovely wife and the good people there at Tree of Life Christian Center Church of God in Christ prayed along with others of our, our jurisdiction and God performed a miracle. You, you, you will be blessed to hear this mighty, mighty warrior. On Thursday night, our own supervisor, Supervisor Beverly DeJanay is going to deliver the word of the Lord with power and authority. What a mighty woman of God she is. And yours truly will be ministering the word of the Lord on the 7th. God's given me a word. I can't hardly wait to preach it. We have awesome preachers. We have ministers who are going to be delivering the word of God. On Wednesday night, our early speaker will be uh, Pastor Robert Corbett. And on, on uh, Friday night, my early speaker will be the elder Isaac Quick. So many good things will be taking place during that week. On Thursday, during the day session, and this will be virtual, my wife, First Lady Pamela Wooden, will present, uh, will do a presentation presentation on the wisdom of Esther, and it is going to be awesome. Also during the day Thursday, Evangelist Vonetta Wilborn, uh, a, a, an evangelist, I, I call her a real evangelist. She will go places and preach where many grown men won't go. We'll be delivering the word during that day session. We're going to have a Zoom men's meeting. We have so many wonderful things uh, lined up that you want to be a part of. We're going to be talking about how we got the Bible. We're going to be talking more about foundations. Dr. Robert Foster will be talking about the Bible. Uh, Elder John Armand Chukwu will be talking about the foundations of our society. Uh, Sister Retha Bourgier will be talking about, she's a very successful woman in business, how to think within the box and grow uh, a, a successful business in this day and time. There is so many things we have planned. We want you to tune in. We want you to get excited. Members of North Carolina Third, you're the best. You have certainly stood by me. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your support. Thank you for the way that you cooperate. I've never worked with a group of people who are, who are uh, so easy to work with and have just shown me so much support and you put your shoulders to the plow. I really do appreciate you. We want you to help spread the word about our convocation. It's going to be amazing. We're going to have uh, our graduation the week before the convocation and uh, it will be it will be virtual as, as well because this is uh, what the, the National Church prefers that we do at this time and we're proud to work with with uh, our uh, national leaders, but we have some wonderful students who have come through, who will be graduating, who will, uh, who some will go on to be elders in the church, and, and just, just so many exciting things are going on. So I wanted to come and make this little video here and, and to get it out and, and to inspire and encourage you to get ready for the convocation. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, 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 my chief of staff, Superintendent uh, Tommy Quick, first assistant, the mighty Christopher Stone. We're going to be talking about his latest book, uh, Who Told You That? And he's dealing with fear. This man of God has written a masterpiece who, that will be a blessing to the body of Christ. My second assistant, uh, uh, Elder Ronald Gates, will be here all the way from uh, Asheville. What a powerful man of God he is. And uh, just so many uh, of, the, of the leadership uh, will be here, and we're going to be beaming. All messages will be preached 
here in the sanctuary at the upper room church of God in Christ. The only thing that will be different will be the audience will be uh, viewing us on the platforms of Facebook Live and YouTube Live. And, and we're believing God. We're believing God for a mighty move of God during this time. And I believe this. I believe if we, if we put God first and if we trust him, that the Lord will bless our efforts. So get ready for the convocation, August the 5th through the 7th, 5 through 7, the 5th Holy Convocation of North Carolina, 3rd Jurisdiction. It will be virtual this time, but it's going to be real. God bless you and continue to think inside the box. That is, with the box being the Bible.